Willie D. Live. What's up, family? Kendra Wilkinson. She's looking back on her time partying with Sean Diddy Combs. Kendra was a guest on the Kyle and Jackie O show Thursday, where she was asked about her time at the Playboy Mansion, as well as her experience attending some of Diddy's parties. As details about his sex and drug feud parties emerged following his arrest, she said, I remember just going like one or two, but again, like I had a great time in my youth. She was referring to parties held by Diddy. I never saw anything really bad happening around me. Sex is sex in my opinion. So I'm not saying that something bad didn't happen. I'm saying that, you know, nothing bad ever happened to me. Kendra, who once dated Playboy mogul Hugh Hefner, who was 60 years her senior, says she never saw anything out of the ordinary that she wouldn't normally see at the Playboy Mansion. Look, you're going to the Playboy Mansion. You know, there's girls topless in the grotto. Don't we already know that? The girls next door alum said, the grotto was pretty nasty and foamy and stuff. Speaking more generally about the mansion parties, she added, I enjoyed my time while living at the mansion and who you saw is what you got. I was just a fun, wild, young, dumb blonde, and I own it. Before anybody go down the road of celebrating her victory, keep this in mind. Although Kendra has been very candid about her time and experiences at the Playboy Mansion, she said that she recently sought treatment for the trauma she endured at the Playboy Mansion in her late teens and early 20s. So that is a price to pay for engaging in such behavior. Let's make sure we keep that in mind. But the difference between her and a lot of other people is she put it on herself as opposed to trying to come off like she's some type of victim. Not saying that that was not victims, but oftentimes people put themselves in certain positions and they actually behave in a reckless manner, but they only point the finger at others when they feel some type of way. They only point the finger at others when their behavior comes into question, right? Kendra said Playboy really messed her up. She said it led her to question everything and all decisions she made. Why did I have sex with Hugh Hefner at that age? Why did I do that? She asked herself, why did I go to the mansion in the first place? Why did I get big boobs? Why am I a sex symbol? Why did I bleach blonde my hair? Why did I do this to myself? Why did I, why did I, why did I? After she received treatment, she said that she's now doing much better and she's taking it one day at a time. I ain't got no problem with that. See fam, that's how I'm built. I put myself in some bad situations. I have knowingly put myself in some bad situations and it didn't go like I thought it was gonna go and I got punished for it. And not one time did I blame somebody else. Even if I had a code D, I never talked about what another man did and I never held a grudge. Because at the end of the day, the decisions that I make are my decisions. The actions that I take are my actions. So it don't matter if somebody try to talk me into something or talk me into something. If I do it, that's on me. Again, let me be clear. If you really were in a situation where you were unsuspecting of what was to come or you felt your life was in danger, if you had exposed whatever was happening to you or around you, 
get your justice. But the rest of y'all, knock it off because I'm not buying it. But what say you, fam? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.